Let's obtain the numerical solution to our mathematical model on the mesh that we have specified. I'll do this relatively quickly in Fluent. And if you want to know more about what's happening under the hood, please go through the laminar pipe flow uh, tutorial in my online course where I, where I do the Fluent uh, calculations much more carefully. Looking at the framework of what's inside the black box, we have now completely specified the mathematical model, the governing equations, the domain, and the boundary conditions of the edges of the domain. We have specified a mesh on which the solver can obtain a numerical solution and get velocity, pressure, and temperature um, at selected points, which are the cell centers. And in doing so, it will um, it, it will have to solve the algebraic equations iteratively. So if I go back to the discretization and linearization overview slide, um, through, after discretization, you get the algebraic equations, but these algebraic equations are, are nonlinear, so you have to linearize them and solve them iteratively. That's what we will do. So I'll go into the Fluent Solver, and we're moving into the Solution branch. And if I double-click on Methods, you can see there are various knobs you can twiddle to control how the discretization happens. Uh, and that'll, that'll you know, also control the level of discretization error. <clears throat> we'll just use the defaults. And then I'll go under Initialization, and you will have, by default, hybrid initialization. I was playing around with this. Uh, select Standard Initialization, and um, set. And so here, what we are setting are the initial values for the cell center values. Uh, um, so I'll say gauge pressure is zero, axial velocity is equal to the velocity coming in, radial velocity is zero, and the temperature is the temperature coming in. So these are the values that each cell center is set to. So if I look at this cell center now, okay, its values are set to these, similarly for the cell center value and so on. So every cell center is set to these values, and, and so it's a very simple initialization. And let's update, um, and you know, make sure you click on initialization. Um, or initialize, and it says current data has not been saved. You won't get this. I was playing around with this. So once you have initialized it, it'll prompt you for that. Okay. Um, so make sure you initialize. Then you can come to run calculation. Double click on that, and I will say iterate up to a thousand iterations. Um, so it'll update the cell center values, and I'll say calculate. Okay, um, so after 67 iterations, the mass imbalance has fallen below 10 to the power of minus 3. Um, similarly, the axial momentum imbalance, the, um, the um, imbalance in the radial momentum, and this is the imbalance in the energy. These are aggregate imbalances. And um, so, which means that the linearization error is, uh, is small because the imbalances have fallen below tolerance. Now, the default tolerance, I think, is, is a little bit high, so let's decrease that tolerance and iterate more. So, I'll go to monitors, and I will go to residual, and I will set the tolerances um, to be 10 to the power of minus 6. Okay, so I'm saying, hey, iterate further until all the imbalances, aggregate imbalances, fall below 10 to the power of minus 6. And so I can come back to run calculation and say calculate. And I'll say use setting changes for this calculation only. Okay, so now the imbalances have fallen below 10 to the power of minus 6. Um, and that means that our linearization error is even smaller, and so we have a better, even better solution to the algebraic equations, the nonlinear algebraic equations that are the algebraic uh, statements of, of conservation. They still have the discretization error, so we have to refine the mesh, 
uh, but we have the drone the linearization error to be pretty small. By the way, it's also a good idea to monitor the drag coefficient or something else. As I talk about in the laminar pipe flow module, I'm not doing it here um, in the interest of time. So I will, um, so now I have a, a, um, what seems like a reasonable solution to numerical solution to my mathematical model. So I will go ahead and save the project.